five minutes. Okay. Like it's th real time, three minutes, yeah. right? So, by time, and then, then, then if you find another position or whatever, then. Yeah, well, I think we'll keep the same position, but he'll have to capture that bird, bring it back yes. to the tent, bring Change. it back, which is going to take a couple minutes. So it's perfect. While you bird run, yeah. he downloads. Yeah, it's that's, perfect. It should team. work out. Yeah. Okay, you guys let me know yeah. whatever, whatever works out best. The challenge is birds like to fly at night with zero light. And we have to illuminate it to photograph it. There's a moment when you're going to get your shot. It's the moment when the bird can fly in a bit of light. It's the moment when we can get it in focus because the depth of field is about half an inch. And it's flying, even though the image looks like it's flying slowly, it's flying fast. <laughs> Very, 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 very fast. Faster than a camera can move, faster than a person can focus. So if it all comes together, it's just magic. Oh yeah. God. That was fun. It's <laughs> a beautiful bird. Hey, we are live. So we're live, so we're gonna Good. try and get the bird as far forward. Alright, here as we go. We Birds flying. People always ask, why do they fly in the wind tunnel? They're flying in place. It's so artificial. But um, I really think, you, you know, from their point of view, they, they want to fly. And all of a sudden, they've got this wind blowing in their face, and they have a natural um, propensity to open their wings and try and fly away. And now all of a sudden, they are flying. They're exercising. It feels like flight. And they seem to focus on that and not be too distracted by, you know, the fact that the ground's not moving or things like that. And they're going to push him forward. Oh, okay. Good. He's trying to figure out why the sun is on the ground. Focus on the foreground. Focus, focus, focus. Cut! Yep! Yeah. Oh, let's grab, grab this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When you work with these kind of animals that are small and they have such amazing um, speed of reaction, that you can't even judge as a human being looking through the wind tunnel. All I see is, is a bird flying back and forth. And when I see the footage that we shot for the film, I see this bird that is sometimes gliding more than it's flapping. What I see is flap, 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 flap. And what's actually happening is flap, flap, and then pull the wings in and, and glide like a little, a little um, ski jumper. But they're also looking around and checking out their environment. And th these kind of things are just happening too fast for me to even see. So I've gained a, a huge respect for um, how much they're able to process and how quickly they're able to respond. To be a good scientist, you have to be inherently creative. You have to be thinking about things in new ways um, you have to be looking at information that we have and, and trying to visualize it in your mind. I think there's a close link between art and science, and they're both very creative activities. So I think that um, there is a, there's a natural link there, but I think there's also an important link in terms of communicating the research that we're doing to everyone else on the planet. Okay, buddy. Ready to go? Ready to go? Ready to go? Here we go. Away you go.